Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Great good morning to everyone over here. So I would like to begin with thanking MIT Salon for providing us the opportunity at Next Tech Summit to share our story when it comes to digitizing life in Dubai, which is really great. And I'm over here not to give you a presentation about technologies because technology to us is only a mean to an end. Our end goal is how do we best serve our citizens and residents, making sure that they have the best ever experiences in the United Arab Emirates and more specifically in Dubai. So let me begin with sharing a story of a transformation journey that have started more than two decades back. A transformation where a visionary leaders of United Arab Emirates in Dubai specifically have announced the transformation of the government in the year 2000 to become an electronic government. The first transformation after an electronic government has been to move the government from an electronic government, which have witnessed great transformation, into a mobile government. A government that's available 24 by 7 in the hand of its residents and visitors. Then, that was not enough. At every transformation, our leadership have always raised the bar to the next level of transformation in the way that we are serving our citizens and residents. The next transformation was about smart governments and smart city services. That was really great. We've witnessed a time where we had to embrace technologies into creating a new services, uh, integrating all of those services in a single app, uh, embracing the data transformation that's happening, putting a right governance into the way that we are exchanging and transforming data, utilizing cutting technologies such as blockchains in the way that we are transacting and decentralizing the transactions that's happening in the government of Dubai. And then that was not enough. We needed to move bolder to have a greater transformation that's going over to the next three years of transformation in the Emirate of Dubai. And I'm here to share that story with you and how we are going to achieve that. So before I begin there, you know, it's very important to highlight the quote from His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, UAE Prime Minister, Vice President, and the ruler of Dubai. When he said, there is no finish line in the race to excellence. And this is exactly the journey that we are in. Every time we set a transformation goal for us, we take it to the next. And it is a race that will continue. Such a transformation we see it today, it will continue to the next generations with more and ambition transformation that we need to have. So, what is Digital Dubai is doing over here? I will gonna take you through some strategic shifts. It's seven shifts that we are moving from a smart cities and transformation that have happened in the past to the digital transformation that we are looking on. In the past, we focused on government transformation. And at the moment, guess what? We are moving towards city focus. We wanted the entire city to digitize. It's not, only to, not enough to digitize the government. We need the entire health sector, public and private. We need the education sector. We need the banking, the financials, the retailers. All of the city needs to digitize in order to serve its citizen better. From digital government services, where a lot of great transformation we've seen and how government have advanced and started to compete with the private sector in the way that's offering its services, to a holistic digital city experience. Those experiences is bringing closer public and private sector together, driving these experiences in the entire city of Dubai. Moving from a very traditional way of managing and collecting data, which is known to be centralized, in a way that we are going, and it used to be to a supply-driven way, that let's collect the data and let's try to analyze it, towards more wise way of how do we manage city assets within the digitizations, which is decentralized, putting the right governance around it and having it demand-led. So being more sustainable in the way, the way that we are feeding this digital transformation by data. From government say, cyber resilience into citywide cyber resilient, but most importantly, to be proactive. This proactiveness is creating the shield that we want and protecting our digital asset. From digital government performance indicators, those indicators are key and how brought this excellence to such a level. But that is not enough. We are moving towards comparing ourselves internationally and rank best globally. 
and using the best practices that are known in this industry globally and compare ourselves with other cities and, and, and other countries. From emphasis on an operator role. And do you know what? As people known in the digital industry, we are very much driven by operations and we are very keen in terms of going, developing and operating. But there is an important role that we shouldn't forget about, which is an enabler regulator. Everyone can do operations, but to bring everyone together through, towards one big mission and making sure that everyone is contributing in such a transformation requires a regulatory role. And this is the strategic shift that we are seeing. And with such a strategic shift, it was very important also to reform Digital Dubai to make sure that such an authority can deliver with the rest of the city towards this ambition goal. So Digital Dubai is today an authority which has three main arms. The first arm is digital government. As we had this arm contributed and attributed to the transformation that we've seen over the, the past decades, it will continue digitizing life in Dubai. Data and statistics. This is really important, and we can see a unique merger that have happened in such an industry. Usually, we would see data organizations are separate from statistical organizations. Such a transformation, bringing those two agencies together, fueling transformation with data that is accurate and also in real time provided to the city, and coming at the heart of digital transformation. Last but not least, a cybersecurity arm. Dubai Electronic Security Center that's protecting all of this asset. So, what was the mandate to, these organization, to the organization and what we're trying to achieve? In July 2023, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum have launched Digital Dubai's strategy. And he put for us another ambition transformation targets. We want to rank among top three global cities when it comes to UN Lossy Index. So we want to be top three. We want to be among top five when attracting digital talents to the Emirates itself over here, internally, but also to attract globally. We want to deliver 50, 50 experiences that are integrated between public and private sectors. Such a transformation should also attribute to 90% satisfactions when it comes to digital, digital well-being from our citizens and residents. All of that should contribute to our digital economy by an value add of 100 billion Emirati dirham uh, as, uh, to the economy of Dubai. And that would happen through seven main pillars. So number seven is coming, again, you know, commonly in the presentation, we had seven strategic shift through seven main pillars. And now let me shed the light on some of the key initiatives that's touching those key pillars of the city when it comes to the digital transformation that we are doing in Dubai. And let's begin with the digital city experience. As we said, this is one of the strategic shifts that, ha ha uh, that we are driving in the Emirate of Dubai. We've seen great services that's being offered, and we want to move them to the next. So how does next look like to us? Then let me begin with this video. أنت كيف يارز في إندونيسيا تدفع البواتير؟ تطبيق دبي الآن تدفع فواتيرك وتخلص أمورك حتى لو كنت آخر الدنيا. It's a flagship product that's been offered and we've continuously been enhancing it. And as you can see, it's attributing to one of the experiences that's been created in Dubai, which had to do with payments. So you shouldn't have the hustle of going to 20 different portals from public and private sectors to pay your bills every month. That is an experience you should be doing it in a click of button, and more importantly, maybe, in the near future, you have it more proactive. So the 50 experiences that we've talked about, we are targeting into a way that we are co making sure that it is integrated services that's providing you unique experiences within the city of Dubai. It has one end goal, and it's also bringing both public and private sector as a partnership and contributing into that. Most importantly, 100% digital. And we need to embrace that. It should be digital. You don't need to have any visits or any paperwork that you need to do afterwards. These city experiences, there is an example of it over here, but it's not limited to that. And as we say, then as we are finding it, as we're working on them, it's like these 50 are for the upcoming three years, but I'm sure we will exceed those numbers with the partnership from public and private sector, because there are 
enormous number of journeys that we can go through as residents of Dubai, and we need to keep coming together in a way that we are delivering toward those experiences. The second is data, and more specifically over here is about dashboard. So the challenge that many cities, many leaders within organizations in public and private sector is that data comes to you in silos. You get a lot of information that's coming for, to you from multiple directions. Some economical data, some transactional data. As a city leader of Dubai here, you get also uh, population data and, and so on. And those are really important and each agency has done great in the way that they've been processing, collecting and disseminating such a data. But that is not enough in the way that the leadership should manage the city and manage the greatest operations of it and also the ambition of how to make it next resilient, robust, future city. So for that, what we did at Digital Dubai is we've created the concept of Dubai dashboards. The aim of Dubai dashboard is to provide you real-time data as a decision maker across all sectors of Dubai that are not only coming from transactional data of the government, but also coming from and many multiple sources, including social media, that you can get a sense and the pulse check of how your city is running and how is it operating. And providing all of that in one single dashboard. This single dashboard is providing also real-time data on daily basis and also monthly basis. And more importantly, proactive in predicting what can be the scenarios that you can go through through each sector. Another dimension of that is bringing the sectorial data and correlate them. If I correlate health to education, what kind of new knowledge that I can bring to the table over here? We are coming, I think we have leaders from the digital, from the health sector over here. Is there any relations between seasonality of viruses that comes within the city with open up of a school? You know, and the way that we go to vacations, the people behavior over here, what kind of a new knowledge that we are coming up with and trying to empower any decision making that's happening in Dubai in real time through data dashboards. The data dashboards is also working with the partners from public and private sector into fueling it with data when it needs to be analyzed or any dashboard that is ready that can be integrated in such a dashboard and also studying and understanding the mega events that's happening across the Emirate. So this is the second initiative that we've been working on and delivering to our, our city leaders a great data and insights that can help the process of decision making. The next initiative, I'm moving from application and experiences that we are creating to the city. I've moved to data. And now let me move to our great asset of digital infrastructure. And when it comes to that, I'm shedding the light to our cloud initiative. And before we go there, if you look at the current state, and at least I'm highlighting some of the solutions that we are running in, du in Digital Dubai. Those solutions usually comes as a full stack, end to end, from infrastructure all the way to the applications that's providing it. But those infrastructures usually sits in isolation. And we need to make sure that we are becoming more efficient in the way that we are utilizing resources. Most importantly, also coping up with the transformation that is happening over there with capabilities that are coming and technologies that's coming from cloud. So to have one cloud is not enough. It's really important to partner up between the public and private sectors, building up the concept of digital clouds that we need to have in the city. Those digital clouds is, I would say, a consortium of clouds that are coming together. Public and private clouds that we need when it comes to processing uh, I would say mission critical solutions within the city of Dubai. Those clouds are coming also through multiple providers. Moro is a great example of a local uh, cloud service provider that we are partnering up with, but also importantly, international, Azure and Microsoft. It's really important to have such a partnership when we are building the concept of clouds. Also, it should attribute to the sustainability of the solutions that we are offering and providing highly effective and secure solutions. Cloud movement is really great towards having, closing any security gaps that can be uh, addressed from the uh, 
physical infrastructures that's being run within the cities. So Dubai Clouds is an initiative to all partners who are providing cloud services to come and try to partner up in the way that us as a city can empower it, but also more importantly, consume some of the cloud services that's offered. So we moved from city journeys to city data to city infrastructure. Now let's go to cybersecurity. كل شيء تغير يوم الناس انصاروا الفيروس اللي انتشر عن طريق الانترنت ما راح محد We need to be aware as we are digitizing there are also a role of protecting those systems from any attacks that is really necessary to us over here and over there Digital, the, the, the next phase of the cyber security strategy in Dubai is focusing on our cyber security when it comes to our society. It's also looking at not only the cyber uh, scope of the government, it's expanding it to include the entire city. We are looking towards active cyber collaborations between different organizations and centers that are looking at cyber security and collaborate with them in finding the new and advanced solutions that are putting the, the, the layers that are minimizing any risks that we have. Also, building and incubating innovative solutions within uh, the cybersecurity uh, center of Dubai. Uh, we had a great effort in terms of uh, capacity building when it comes to upskilling uh, our staff and our experts uh, in the cyber domain with training more than uh, with adding another, uh, uh, more than 1,000 uh, hours to, our, uh, to, to the people that we've uh, upskilled them. Uh, that was delivered to more than 600 professions that uh, joined such a program, and we've collaborated also with universities. As you know, universities act today as a hub for innovation and provides R&D. Having such a collaboration in a way that we come with innovative solutions is really important. And now I will shed the light on the last solution, of uh, the initiatives that we have under Digital Dubai, which is Razam. We've seen in the video how URLs can uh, harm uh, devices or solutions that we have in our hand. Razam is a product that's looking in real time and scanning for all URLs that exist. And so far, it, it scanned more than uh, 1 million uh, URL. It has an efficiency of, of detecting any uh, malicious uh, content within that of uh, almost more than 95%, and it is instant in your hand to check and protect yourself from any malicious links that comes to you. And this is one of the flagship products that you can go to App Store and download it and, and keep your, uh, your devices uh, safe today. So I hope by sharing our journey, we come closer into understanding the strategic shift that we are creating and the digital transformation in the, the, of the Emirates of Dubai, digitizing all aspects of life and creating the impact. Our impact, again, it's about adding 100 million as a value add to the economy of Dubai uh, every year, and it's contributing to the digital economy of Dubai that has a very wide and ambitious uh, target. Once again, I would like thank, uh, to thank uh, MIT Salon uh, and Nextec into providing us this opportunity to partner up and to deliver our story. And I welcome any partnership that can happen that can bring us closer to our objective of becoming among top three cities globally.